Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. Well, it's Friday, and uh, it was a bumpy road since Thursday afternoon. Um, the Fed came out and said they're going to raise interest rates, so it's getting to be more and more official. Uh, the interest rates are for a 30-year mortgage be 5% or higher. Uh, here it is, the Dow Jones was down 2.82%. The S&P was down 2.77%. The NASDAQ was down 2.55%. And the Russell 2000, these are your smaller cap stocks, were down 255 So across the board, uh, the market was down. But we did see the VIX jump a little over 24%. So if you were in the shorts, if you're doing puts today, you made a lot of money, okay? Uh, it's not something you want to see, but in the short term for the day traders, this was great, okay? So the VIX was up over 24%, and this was the CEO of Netflix um, after losing over $100 billion in market cap value. Um, this was the negative news of the wheat Netflix losing $100 billion in value, and they're expected to lose over 2 million subscribers in the next quarter, okay? So uh, no good news happening there. Uh, and as I mentioned, Fowl, uh, Fed Chair Powell uh, sees a half a point hike, uh, completes hawkish pivot. So there it is, the Fed met on Thursday afternoon, which that's when the market started falling. Then, uh, you know, uh, they printed all this money and now, you know, they're raising interest rates to try to uh, cool off the market. Okay. So uh, there is worries of recession, housing bubble to burst, uh, possibly. Uh, and if your stock is not producing, if they are not making profits, if they are a, uh, Based off a of sales stock, they're getting crushed right now. They're down 50%. Some tech stocks are down over 50%. Okay, so here it is. 30-year mortgage commonly used to finance homes where the average rate rose to 5% this week. Okay, so the Fed, they're going all in. They're actually doing it. They pulled the trigger and they're tightening the market even more and more. And so whether it's five rate hikes or Four, we don't know yet. So this came out on Thursday. Again, they have this same meeting in Europe where they decide, hey, we're going to raise the interest rates. They call it the LIBOR in Europe. So they do the same thing. When the economy gets too hot, they raise interest rates to try to cool things off, uh, get things back in balance. Um, but we've got several things going on. We've got the supply chain issue. Cost for raw materials is going up. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff, okay? So uh, this is probably the biggest, you know, deal in the last 10 years, okay? Interest rates are going up. Interest rates haven't been hiked like this since 2018 or even prior to that, okay? So it's about five or six years since the 30-year mortgage was raised to 5%, okay? Now, the reason why that's a concern is because if mortgage is at 5%, people can't buy houses, okay? So at 2.25%, many people can qualify for that, you know, $400,000 house. Uh, so it's a big deal. It affects the stock market. Again, Fed Chair Powell and the rest of the Federal have, Reserve have decided to raise interest rates uh, it, to cool off the market, okay? So we'll see what happens. Uh, but today... Um, the, with the VIX being up, uh, we did have the shorts. The shorts did see the short QQ, uh, as you can see, posted on my Instagram, was up over 8%. The UVXY, another volatility index, was up 19%. And the SPX, the S&P short, was up 9.85%. So there was some winners today. Uh, they're very dangerous, so it's you know, it's at your own risk, but these are high gain returns when the, when everything else tanks, 
uh, it goes down in value, these go up. These are called the short and the put interest. Uh, the short QQQ, which is the NASDAQ stocks, and the S&P short, which is the uh, S&P 500. Okay, so those were up today, as you can see, well over 9%, some as high as 19%. So those were the top index funds today. Uh, that was the big news there. Uh, we go to Robinhood, you can see the portfolio was down 3.14%. Uh, we did have one bright spot. Snap was up 1.12%, so roughly 1%. Everything else was on sale. Uh, so that was pretty much the market. Uh, and like I said, the S and the short QQ was up 8.95. The UVX was up 18. The SBX was up 10%. Um, again, Fed Chair Powell's comments uh, and other federal chair. Uh, you know, cooled off the market. Also, the negative news of Netflix this last week. Okay, so Netflix losing over a hundred billion dollars in value, reporting on their earnings report that they'll lose up to two million more subscribers during the next quarter. Again, we have more uh, companies reporting on next week. We have uh, Apple reports next week and Facebook will report uh, earnings for the previous quarter, okay? So um, if Apple reports well, that may rally the market out of this negative spin, okay? So here it is, Apple, uh, let's see. They will report um, on 428. So that'd be toward the end of the week. Uh, they will report um, also Facebook, also known as Meta, they will report as well on 427. So you got Facebook reporting on Thursday. You have Apple reporting on Friday. Uh, you also, okay, you have AMD, that's next month. Uh, let's see here. You have Microsoft reporting on Wednesday. Okay, so let's see what happens next week. Let's see if the market can uh, rally. Uh, I'm almost positive Apple is going to have good numbers for their earnings, but uh, anything could happen. Uh, you got Facebook reporting and you have Microsoft reporting on 426. So that's the news. Uh, again, the top stocks of the day was the shorts, uh, the SQQ, the shorted NASDAQ uh, was the top stock of the day. Again, the QQQ is a index of all the NASDAQ stocks, all the tech stocks. And then you have the short QQ, which is the shorts. Um, again, they were uh, up. You had the UVXY uh, was up over 18%. SQQ was up over 8.85%. Uh, GNS, I've had this stock for over three years. It basically trades between two and five dollars. Uh, and Spear Airlines, Spear Airlines was actually up um, two point four four percent. So those were the stocks of the day. Um, again, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. And if you'd like to get some free stock, please use my Robinhood link below. And everybody have a great weekend.